morning everyone. We are now going to take a look at a topic called users and creators. That's users and creators of technical graphics. Now thinking about our course, as we spoke last week, we have got two streams. One is called technical graphics. And on the other side, we've got C, V, M, G, which is commercial and visual media graphics. Now, within both of these, we have people who create graphics and people who use them as part of their job or to make choices. And what we're going to try and fathom today is what these job titles are, or who these people are, and part of your task as your assignment, which has just been issued, is to go through a list and come up with some roles and some needs. Just to flesh it out a little bit, in technical graphics we've got a further two strands. One is called the built environment. And the other strand we've got is manufacture and engineering. Now I wanted to keep these in mind, so we've got three strands. Within technical graphics we've got the built environment and we've also got manufacture and engineering. In CBMG, which is the desktop publishing type of graphics that we deal with, then we've got just a one strand in there and it's simply called commercial and visual media graphics. Obviously within that there are lots of different topics but it's a single strand. So we have within each of these strands the built environment, manufacture engineering and commercial and visual media graphics we have a list of what are called users and also creators of graphics. Part of our task for the exam and also for your project is to understand who these people are, what it is they do for a job and what type of graphics they will use and what type of graphics they will create. Creators and users. Now today all we're going to look at for this first video is people contained within the built environment. These list of roles are contained within the course assessment spec which is on the people resource area so you can go in there and look on that and I believe it's page 9, 10 and 11 of that document you'll see a box and listed within that it will tell you the ones that you have to know for your exam and also the ones you have to know for part of your project. Right now we're going to look at simply the built environment and I'm going to give you a list of job titles here or descriptions of people and we'll quickly just list them out and maybe have a think about what these individuals might do. First one we've got on the list are architects and then following on from that we've got landscape architects. We then have, I'll switch colour just to make it a little bit different, we've got building surveyors and we have quantity surveyors. What else do we have after that? Well there's lots of people who are looking at built environment. Remember built environment is to do with uh, bridges, roads, tower blocks, factories, car parks, anything which we as society build on the landscape which already exists, we would call that the built environment. So after quantity surveyors we've got town planners. We also have interior designers. Coming down the list we've got a, a kind of big topic here, a big group of people and these are called the construction trades and I'll come 
come back to them in a couple of minutes time and we'll just flesh that one out a little bit and after this we've got the final little group who are purchasers and clients so if you think about clients a client would be someone who perhaps employs an architect if they want to build a new factory somewhere the client might be the Scottish government and they might go to an architectural firm and they will say to them we're thinking about building an office in Stirling somewhere and we'd like you to come up with the plans and all the details in order to build it so that would be the client and this person would create some graphic items some of the graphic items that an architect may create are things like initial sketches just little perspective sketches to give the client an idea about what the architect is thinking so the architect is creating and the client is using that's the relationship sometimes you can be both you can be a user and a creator if you think about this role of a CAD technician which isn't on the list but if you think about it so if we talk about a CAD technician because you've seen that in exams quite a lot what a CAD technician gets is a sketch from the designer so they would use a sketch and from that they would create perhaps an orthographic so in the case of a CAD technician they are both a user and a creator of graphics but that's not always the case and what our job is is to try and figure out which are which I said we come back to construction trades now construction trades would be people like plumbers and I'll switch the colours again a wee bit we might have electricians uh, what else could we have we might have uh, even carpet fitters So anyone perhaps involved in the building of a new house, the plumbers, what kind of graphic would they need? Well, if they've got to think about where to put the pipes, they have to get from the, the main water inlet to the building, they've got to get to the bathroom, to get to the kitchens, perhaps they have to get to a storage tank in the attic. So what they would need is a floor plan. And they would need a floor plan in order to get the roots of their pipes. Same thing for the electrician, they might need a floor plan as well for their roots. A carpet fitter would need a floor plan for a different reason. They're not interested perhaps in where they would root pipes, but they are interested in the size and the layout of the rooms because they need to know where the carpet is going to go. So in all these cases, these people are users of graphics. And these are known as construction trades. And there are lots of other ones as well. We would have roofers, we would have bricklayers, there's a whole list of people involved in constructing a house or constructing a building and we put them all together and we call them construction trades. Now your assignment that's been given out only deals today with the built environment. You'll find on the Google document that's come out these job titles or individuals, they are listed on the Google document and what you have to do is do a bit of investigation and you're going to try and uncover what these people do and what they need from graphic items and also perhaps what graphic item they could create so we're going to find out their roles whether they are a creator are they a user or do they do both when it comes to graphics the next video I will do will be manufacture engineering and then we'll do commercial and visual media graphics but in essence they'll be similar to this one. All we'll be doing is looking at the list of roles, the list of individuals and trying to think about whether they are a user, a creator or both.